Tyler Down Hour. Parents Jim and Susie Down Hour. Tyler's favorite subject is Jim. His extracurricular activities include football, National Honor Society, FCYLA, Student Council, Varsity Club, and Camp with Camp. Tyler's most memorable wrestling moment was beating West Tech every day in practice. Tyler's future plans are to attend the University of Indianapolis and study pre medicine. I'm Chad Morgan, uh, giving you our final live installment of Rochester Zebra Wrestling. Um, tonight, Rochester will be taking on Pioneer Panthers, and um, it, this could quite possibly be the fastest varsity duel you will ever see. Uh, the numbers are down at Pioneer this year. For one reason or another, they only have four varsity wrestlers. Um, tonight is senior night, and um, we are lucky enough to get three of our four seniors that have been honored just before what you just saw. Um, honored they will actually be able to wrestle a match tonight the weights are going to start at 152 working our way up to heavyweight and then starting back at 106 and then actually it'll be over at heavyweight they only have wrestlers at 
160 pounds, 170 pounds, 182, and heavyweight. What Rochester's doing tonight is they're going to bump up our first senior, Braxton Lee, up to 160 pounds, where he is usually our 152-pounder. And then um, to follow him, our standard 160-pounder, Tyler Downauer, another senior, will actually be wrestling 170. So both of those seniors will be able to get a match. And then Taylor Pugh will be wrestling at 182, the first-year senior for us. And then our heavyweight will be wrestling, Lane Coffin. So our first match, we have Braxton Lee versus pioneer wrestler and they start so so what is happening tonight is um it's a good and a bad thing it's a it's a it's a good quick duel for the zebras a little tune-up for four wrestlers before we go into conferences saturday and um the bad news is is it's going to be a short match for us here on in, on tv good news is is they've already got a win the duel meet is already sealed with 10 forfeits so actually right now the zebras already once the forfeits are done we'll have 60 free points so this is braxton's final regular season match before we go into conference tournament which is this saturday at northfield and uh the zebras are are highly favored to win conference this year um they go in with 11 of our 14 wrestlers um seated top four to they're they're, they're seated to to possibly at least place top four in each weight class. We have four first place seeds, four second place seeds, two third place seeds, and a fourth place seed. Um, so the, the Zebras, as long as they hold true to, to form, they, they, they should win the conference tournament this year. They did go 6-0 and undefeated in the uh, conference duels. The only team not wrestling is Wabash that we have not seen. Score of the match right now is two to one. Braxton had an early takedown and he just let the wrestler up to his feet. So they're working neutral, looking for a takedown either wrestler. <clears throat> Braxton was just honored a little while ago and I um, thought I'd give you a little bit of his career statistics, but Braxton wrestled for cast in his freshman year and then moved to the Rochester district and, and wrestled for us ever since. But uh, over his three-year career, and including his four his, this year, he, he came into the season with um, 74 total wins before this season has started. And currently, before this match, he has 28 wins this season. So he has um, amassed 102 victories this year. And there are only a handful of wrestlers that have done that for the, for the Zebras. Braxton is up 4-1 to one after the first period, getting another takedown there while I was explaining some of his career statistics. Braxton is one of the wrestlers that is favored to win a uh, conference this year. He is seated number one at the 152-pound weight class. With that said, Braxton has only had three losses this year. He was the only wrestler for the Zebras this year to place at the prestigious Al Smith Invitational, 32-team Invitational, with a sixth-place finish. I'm sorry, fifth place finish. Braxton did win our, or he got second at the John McKee 16 team invite back in early January. He's now re got a reversal on his opponent and is now up six to one with a minute 30 to go in the second period. One wrestler that I'd like to talk about real quick while there's a lull in the action here is uh, our 145-pounder, Ben Horbin. Ben's a senior um, with a uh, career record coming into this year, first three years of 43 wins. And this year, Ben's record is, at this time, before this match, 23-7. and seven. So, I'm sorry, 22-7. and seven, And... Um, Ben's going to get a forfeit tonight to get another another victory. So an, another great career out of another senior for uh, for the Zebras. Interesting note for me: I coached Ben back in the elementary days. So it's neat to see these young men grow up and and uh, um, turn into these great individuals. What they're what they're doing with their lives and and things that they they plan doing in the future. And and wrestling will hopefully help them. Um, 
transition into um, life's important roles and when, when things get tough, how to battle through it and work through it and, and things of that nature. No change here at the end of the second period. Score is still 6-1. to one. Pioneer chooses neutral. Very quiet in the gym tonight. Not very many fans, obviously, coming from the Pioneer side. And then uh, we've got our normal crowd here for the Zebras. Maybe a few extras for, for the seniors that are here tonight. Again, a quick recap for our scoring is um, individual matches are scored towards the team score by uh, how you perform in your match. So if you win by one point to seven points, you will get a decision for your team and score three team points. If you win eight to 14 points, you will score what they call a major decision and score four team points for your, for your team. And then if you get a technical fall, which is a 15 point victory or more, they automatically stop the match and uh, award you the victory and you get five points for your team. The other ways to score are you get a forfeit, which is worth 16 points, the same value as getting a pin or a fall on your opponent. Braxton in on a single, switches to a double, and scores his takedown. He's up 8-1. to one. So right now Braxton has a 7-point lead, looking to score more points to uh, secure that extra bonus points for the team. In a close duel situation, those are, those are big, but obviously tonight not going to be as important for the team. But we've got things we're, we're striving to get better on and, and work on here during the match. Um, currently, as a team, the Zebras are 18-2 and two on the season. Um, they're, they're having a great year. Um, obviously, after tonight, they'll be 19-2, and, and, two, and uh, they will finish the season dual meets at 19-2 and two going into um, the conference tournament this Saturday. And then the following Saturday will be sectionals. Uh, zebras are going to be in a very, very exciting race for the sectionals as Plymouth is uh, the other team to beat, who Plymouth is one of our dual meet losses. However, at the John McKee tournament, Plymouth was here and the Zebras edged them out of the tournament for the victory. So it, it should make for an exciting sectional tournament. Braxton had a nice legs in, and he, and he uh, torqued him, and he got two near fall. And he does now have the major decision. He got the two near right at the end of the period, securing a major, dis major for the team and four points. So currently we're up 10 to nothing going into 170 pounds. So next up is the second of our third seniors that get to wrestle tonight, Tyler Downhour. Tyler Downauer currently has a record of 26 and 3, and he came in with 55 wins from his first three seasons. So he is at 81 wins at this point in time. Tyler's in on a double leg, and it was defended nicely by the Pioneer wrestler. Tyler's got Cradle locked up, looking to score some points here. He's got the takedown. Now the referee's call in the near fall, looking for a fall. He's got the five, got the five point near fall. And got his five point move. Two point takedown, three point near fall. Now he has a chicken wing in on the near side and he's looking to get another turn. Defended well by the Pioneer wrestler. Wrestlers are on their feet back to the center. 30 seconds to go in the period.
Another takedown for Rochester. He's got the wrestler on his back looking for the fall and gets the fall. 10 seconds to go in the first period. Even though Rochester only has four number one seeds for the conference tournament, um, Rochester also has four number two seeds. They are sh Their goal for this weekend is to have seven champs with a possible of nine. Um, we have a third seed wrestler, Josh Heckthorn, who's actually been out of lineup due to a concussion that he received back at the Al Smith Classic. Um, getting him back in the lineup will be big, and, and uh, with him being the third seed, he uh, has experience over the other higher-seeded wrestlers in his weight and has actually beat them before. So we're looking for him to do this again for us at the, at the conference. Up now wrestling is Taylor Pugh, first year senior wrestling for the Zebras, um, doing a great job for us this year, coming out as a first year wrestler, putting in a, a big, big weight class. Um, Lane's record at this time is 13 and 12. He has a uh, over 500 record, which is, is a pretty good accomplishment for a first year wrestler. Both wrestlers looking to gain control here and, and get a takedown here in the first period. Since the seniors bumped up one weight class, we had to fill the 152-pound weight class with uh, Connor Templeton, who had already received a forfeit for us before the first match started. End of the first period, and score will be 0-0. Zero to zero. Pioneer chooses to go down in the second period. the score zero to zero after the first period it's it's uh very important for the wrestler to choose a position where he thinks he can score first from scoring first in a very close match with a with the potential going into overtime is a uh an advantage that you want to have because if you get to pass this first sudden victory you will have choice on your position to help you uh get up in the match before the other opponent does Pioneer to his feet and, and scores an escape. He's up one to nothing. 45 seconds to go. Wrestlers trying to get some control here. You see them switching around their ties or switching their hands around, trying to get a better position to uh, be able to get the their opponent off balance to score a takedown. Ten seconds to go, second period, still on our feet. And the period ends. Pioneer one, Rochester zero. Taylor immediately goes down knows exactly what he needs to do. He needs to get away and tie the score up and then uh, take down is most likely going to win this match. The 
Instead of an escape, Taylor gets a reversal on his opponent, and he's up two to one right now. He needs to either ride him out, turn him, and get a fall, or if the wrestler gets away, there will have to be, someone's going to have to score a takedown. But at this point, we are up two to one. Fifty seconds to go. Taylor's riding tough. Needs to try to advance his position here. Twenty-five seconds. Rochester still in control. Pioneer is in a position where he looks like he may try to score. He's got to get off of his hip. There he goes. Now he's back up on top. Ten to go. And as time runs out, Taylor gets the victory two to one. Next up, we have Wes Beck, Jr. for the Zebras, will receive a forfeit. And right after him, you will have Jr. Jordan Schaefer also will receive a forfeit. And then we will go into what is our final match of the night, actual match of the night, and it will be Rochester's Lane Coughing going, it's going against Pioneer at heavyweight. Lane's in on a single leg and has already got the wrestler down. Had him on his back, wrestler rolls through. Lane's looking real aggressive here. I like what I see out of Lane here with the aggression. I hope he can con continue to wrestle this way and then wrestle this way Saturday. Lane is a fourth seed for the Zebras this Saturday, but has the opportunity that he could place higher than his seed. As you can see, Lane gives up quite a bit of, of weight here at the heavyweight class, We're coming in weighing around 220 pounds. And uh, a wrestler actually could weigh up to 285 pounds at the heavyweight division. And uh, this Saturday, this past Saturday, Lane gave up a couple matches because of that big weight. And he gets the fall. The Zebras are doing something that I believe they've only done one other time, which is absolutely blank the other team. They will finish with the score will be 79 to 0 after all the forfeits. Now we're going to see forfeits for Ben Garrick. We're going to see forfeit for Cole Dowd at 113. We're going to see forfeit for Aaron Orr at 120. See a forfeit for John Hunting at 26. Robert Caddy at 132. Justin Schroeder at 138, and Ben Horbin, the final senior, will get the final forfeit at 145 pounds. Bringing the final team score to 79 to zero. This will conclude our live broadcast for Rochester Wrestling for the 2014 season. However, the Zebras will be wrestling at Northfield this coming Saturday for the Three Rivers Conference Tournament. The following Saturday will be at Plymouth for sectionals and Rochester actually hosts the regionals here in our main gym in three weeks. It should be a big packed day with uh, powerhouse, state powerhouse Penn will be here and um, the Zebras are gonna be fighting to see 
how many guys they can get through to the semi-state level. Um, with that, I'm Chad Morgan. I appreciate you coming out and watching tonight and um, hope to see you out at some matches live. Thanks for watching.